Hello again, it's Lock Noob. This is a really awesome lock, and it's lent me by Fishpix, who is a brilliant channel, and you must go visit Fishpix right away. In fact, go do it now, go subscribe, and then come back and carry on watching this one. Awesome. Right, now you're back. This is an incredible real estate lockbox, a, a key safe, if you will, and um, it just is fabulous. I wish I could show it working in its entirety, but unfortunately Fishpix doesn't have a code key, so we can't um, open this, and I don't think there's even a way to decode it without having a key. I could be wrong, but that's my understanding. Um, it really is very secure, definitely probably the best key safe lock box ever made, uh, and it's just amazing. They don't, I don't think they use these anymore. I'd certainly love to have one uh, with, a, with a code key and a known code, but essentially you put the key in, turn it, you'll be able to dial in a code related to the key and you cannot tell the uh, code from the key because the sliders on the inside, it actually is a slider lock, um, uh, can be set at different heights for each number in different locks. And you can, because the sliders interact with the wheels, depending on the key, you can have a different code for that key. Um, so different real estate agents can uh, use their own individual key for each single lock. Now, when you've dialed in that code by turning these dials, obviously, and you've turned the key, this door will open up and you, the, you can take the key out, use it, and then put it back. What's really interesting is inside this, there's actually a roll of film which um, records mechanically by essentially, uh, as you open the door, I think it, it, it imprints onto a roll of film um, the key code and I think the um, uh, the combination used, basically you can tell who, based on the, that key and code combination, has used the lock um, uh, at any given point, which is really cool. Now, I may have given that a really, really garbled explanation, but if you want to know more about it, I'll leave a link to a brilliant key picking forum thread all about this lock which is absolutely fabulous and you must must go check it out if you're interested in this lock one day i hopefully have um, a key and my own one of these and i'll be able to show you fully you'll also notice it's got this little dial at the top which won't turn it says to turn knob push hasp in and you have to do that and then you do this essentially this is just a little um three wheel combination lock which opens up the hasp which i have decoded and what i'm going to do today since I can't show you much else, is how to decode the hasp of this lock. Um, so like most of these locks, you need to rotate it forwards a few times, Take, go to a number, back, uh, pass that number to the next number, and then forwards to the last number, and then you should be able to pull the shackle and it opens up. Clearly, I didn't put the right code in. Um, but that's how it is. So I'm just going to turn this dial a number of times until we get to, um, a, well, it doesn't matter, let's go to zero. Then, we'll, then you'll pull the shackle up and you put, you'll put some pressure on it. See how my thumbnail's turning white? You see how much force I'm using? And uh, once it's in a, a, a gate, false or otherwise, you can just rattle, rattle it back and forth. Uh, press down until you get to the next one. And you're looking for where it binds strongly. See how it's very loose? Um, that little marker goes either side of this, uh, the, the mark on the wheel goes almost either side of the marker uh, on the body. Next one. Next one. And that feels a little stiffer, I'll be honest. It, again, it's really hard to tell, but if you put enough force on it, it feels a little bit stiff. That's loose again. That's loose. That's very loose. Guess it's getting really loose around here. Loose loose and when you when you feel like it's um in the right position then you can stop at that number so i've gone round twice i'm just going to see if it really is yeah see it's just see how it's really firm on 10 i can barely turn it so that i'm, I'm saying it's 10 now what do you do when you think it's that number well if you're really sure then you can then push down go back past that number anti-clockwise there and then once you're there go to the next number across there into this one and pull and try it and oh that's really stiff as well so it could be 12 but again you 
you need to check all of them. That's a bit looser. That's still a bit loose. That's loose. That's loose. That's very loose. That's loose. That's loose. That's loose. That's loose. And that's really firm. So I think it could be 10, 12. But now we now we know that, what we need to do is um, try it out. So spin it forwards. Go then go to 10, which is what we think the first number is. So so you've tried to find where it binds, where it's really stiff compared to the other numbers, the other gates. So there, 10, right? Then we go back past 10 anti-clockwise to where we think, which is 12, which is the next number along. And then what we need to do is brute force the um, the next number across, okay? so. So we're going, remember, clockwise again, and we turn to the first number and pull the shackle, second number, pull the shackle. So first number, which is 10, and there you go. So the actual combination for this was, weirdly, 10, 12, 10. Um, and I guess that'll give you access to the whole lockbox, and then you can do whatever you want to the thing, but you know, it's, uh, I don't think it's possible to decode this even with a key um, using manipulation, uh, maybe maybe there is a way. There's always a way, isn't there? But certainly not while it's hanging on a door, um, and that's kind of cool. But yeah, the little combination lock on the top is actually pretty easily decodable. You're just finding where it feels very stiff when it's uh, in its true gate. Now it can be a little bit difficult to to determine, but you'll get a feel for when you're on a, a gate which is feeling loose and a gate which is feeling quite stiff. Um, so yeah, so it's uh, it really is, I, I guess it was whoever chose this code um, must have just done it because it's a, an easy one to remember because it's literally, yeah, uh, was it 10, past 10 to 12, and then back to 10 and then open. So it's a nice quick one to, to do, I guess. Anyway, I really enjoyed exploring this lock. Thank you to Fishpix for lending it to me. Um, I hope you like the lock too. I, I really would like to get hold of myself, of, um, for, for myself, one of these locks with a key because it's just a fantastic lock, isn't it? Love it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you've got a comment about this lock or a question, leave it below. I read everything and I reply to as much as I can. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel or Fishpix, please do so. It really helps us out. So thank you and I'll see you all next time.